And welcome back. Our kids are going back to school, and now when they do walk into Colorado high schools, they will be getting a new kind of education beyond the traditional. And we are joined by State Representative Phil Covarrubias of Brighton. Thank you for being here. I know one of your bills just, just went into effect, so tell us about it. Um, the bill 1041, the original idea was behind it was to bring shop class medals, drafting, and that sort of a thing back to junior high and high schools. As we were working on the bill and, and whittling down on it, we realized that the state of Colorado offers a lot of opportunity out there already. So then the, the issue was, is there a disconnect? How come the kids are not getting the information um, about trades and different uh, uh, career avenues other than just a four-year degree? And, and we have recently heard that Colorado has a shortage of, what, plumbers, construction people? Is that what prompted this? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so electricians, drywallers, plumbers, excavators, roofers, everything in the construction industry, we are down about 60,000 people in the state of Colorado and, of course, even more nationwide in the trades. And um, uh, the goal is, is to let young people have the opportunity or if there's people that do have their degree and can't find work, the apprenticeships are available for, for anybody who wants to get out there and uh, take a second look at their career path. So how would this work? I mean, is it a class that they take in, in high school? Is it, you, you mentioned apprenticeships, how would this work? Well, career and tech education offers a lot of uh, opportunity already. And what this does is this allows the teachers, the counselors, and the people involved in the, in the schools to get the information out to the, to the kids, starting in junior high and into high school, about the different opportunities. And, and I, the schools will do it as they see fit. What works for them um, is, is how it's going to work out. And, uh, you know, we want to offer this so that not every kid is ready for a four-year college or can even afford that. And in the trades, you can actually be working on your apprenticeship while you're making money. And then a lot of companies will offer to pay your college tuition uh, later on down the road if you wanted to get into engineering or that sort of a thing. And you're not just talking about construction jobs here, right? No, no. There's a... Uh, well, mainly, mainly from, from my bill, yes, in the construction industry, but... Um, yeah, career tech ed covers a lot of different, of a huge variety of, of career paths, but for what, when I was on the campaign trail and I heard we want to bring the shop classes back to school, mm -hmm. the drafting and hmm. the metals and the mechanics and that sort of things, talking with the, with the Colorado contractors uh, and the automotive, there's a huge need for, for mechanics and, and the, the like all around the state and across, and across the country. And you also pulled from your own work-life experience, right, and in, into pulling this bill together. Yes, I'm a, I've been a construction foreman and project manager for, well, my whole life, basically. Mm -hmm. I grew up in this industry with, uh, my dad started this company back in 1980, and um, growing up in the industry, and and uh, I, I still do that, I still do the excavation work when I'm not in session. Um, the need for training people, even the young people with the basics, with learning how to use a shovel, a broom, a tape measure, a level. One of the things I hear so much with the contractors is that the, they don't even, we can't find kids that even have just the most basic of skills or, or help that, that have the most basic of skills. So what we want to try to do is launch a, uh, programs and schooling opportunities for these uh, young people to um, be able to get out of high school uh, maybe even be a couple of years into their apprenticeship and be able to make money and support themselves moving into the future. And did you hear from students or parents that they wanted this? Oh, gosh, this has been, I, I didn't expect this much uh, uh, press about it, but this has been something that has blown up across my social media and across Colorado. People are so happy and excited. I'm hearing a lot of, finally, we need to bring these, this back to the schools, and I really appreciate it. I'm getting a lot of appreciation. So it's really about just giving our kids choices, right? Yes. Not, not discouraging college. Oh, no, no, not discouraging college, but but there's other ways of, of going about uh, your career path. And the tuition debt is enormous across the country right now. A lot of young people have uh, degrees that they're not able to make any money with, and they're strapped with one or $200,000 in debt. Well, there's a different way to go about it. Military training, which has the trades in the military, will pay for your college. And uh, again, 
if you're learning as a young person and you're, and you're learning an apprenticeship as an as electrician, for instance, if you want to go on to be an electrical engineer, companies will help you pay for that when they see that you have some skin in the game. Yeah, some insight into the job instead of just the book smarts, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, Phil Culver-Rubius, thank you so much from Brighton, State Representative. We appreciate you being here and explaining this new bill to us that we will now be seeing uh, in our classrooms across the state. Thank you so thank much. You. Now, if you ever have a question or a segment idea for us, tweet us at Denver7Politics, or you can email me anytime. And don't forget, you can watch today's segments on the denverchannel.com slash politics unplugged. Thank you so much for watching today. We will see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics Unplugged.